The principal aim of the game is the same as that for any other bowls disciplines, to deliver your bowls, better known as woods, closer to the jack than your opponents. The game is played on a portable mat that measures approximately 30 foot long by 6 foot wide, in the middle of which a centre block is placed which helps create a more interesting and skillful game. Woods are delivered between blocks at one end of the mat. All the players use the same woods in carpet bowling, each of which has a slight bias or lean, which causes it to curve as it travels down the mat. Because the woods are shared, players do not need to purchase any equipment themselves, which also makes carpet bowls an inexpensive sport to take up. The delivery stance is not specified in carpet bowls and many different positions can be, and are used, bowlers with disabilities are allowed to adopt a comfortable stance and method when delivering their wood, so long as this doesn't enable them to gain an unfair advantage. Bowlers must, however, all bowl through a delivery space at the bottom end of the mat, indicated by the blocks. If during delivery either block is touched, a foul wood is declared and stopped and removed from the game. The same is true if a wood touches the centre block or travels off the side or end of the mat. If delivery is too strong and the jack is knocked from the mat, two shots are awarded to the opponents. Sometimes at the end of a game, it is not possible to judge whose woods are closest to the jack by eye alone. In these cases, the exact distance between the jack and player's woods needs to be measured by using one of a number of methods. After all the player's woods have been bowled, the number of woods closer to the jack than your opponent's becomes your score for that end. If a wood from each team is measured to be exactly the same distance from the jack, then neither team scores. A comprehensive list of rules is available on the English Carpet Bowls website. Further details concerning the mat and woods, including links to firms that supply them and second-hand offers, can be found on the Association's website.